I'm EAC's president, Todd Haney, and today is Monday, March 23rd. Can you believe the events of this past week? It's truly mind-boggling to think how rapidly things have changed on our campus, in our nation, and in the world due to COVID-19. Although there are two confirmed cases of COVID-19 here in Graham County, we are grateful that no confirmed cases have been reported on EAC's campuses, and we hope that the measures we've taken will ensure that there won't be any. By now, you have seen the many news bulletins EAC has distributed regarding this ever-changing situation. It's a lot to process, and we understand if you're feeling overwhelmed. Please know that I'm thinking of each of you, and we will get through this together. Throughout this crisis, we have made decisions based on the following three goals. Number one, protect the health and safety of our campus community and do our part to flatten the curve of COVID-19. Number two, where possible, provide remote instruction and services for all students with the least amount of disruption. And number three, sanitize our work in classroom settings and use the strictest social distancing policies for essential activities. EAC will do everything possible to reach these goals. Today, our instructors met remotely, and I'm happy to report that they are coming up with alternative plans for delivering coursework throughout a variety of methods. If you're a student at EAC, please know that your instructors will contact you this week to talk about how you can be successful in these courses. In addition, our staff members have met to discuss how administrative functions can operate remotely. This includes closing our student services building to the public, but still offering remote services for admissions, counseling, financial aid, fiscal control, housing, records, and student life. If you need to contact any of these offices, please go to our website for their email addresses and phone numbers. If you're working on campus, please use social distancing. This includes using the phone, email, Zoom, or other tools to communicate with each other and remain at least six feet apart from each other. Please avoid face-to-face -face classes and, and sanitize services. I wanna thank all of our faculty and staff for the work they're doing to make EAC a safe place for students to achieve lifetime success. I know you're working tirelessly to adapt to all of these different situations. We will continue to monitor this situation and provide instruction and updates as appropriate on the college website and through other official channels. Please continue to follow recommendations regarding social distancing and proper hygiene protocols found at the Centers for Disease Control website. Please continue to be safe, and I'll check back with you tomorrow.